Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be making a raid in Open Media Vault. So a couple things before we get started with the actual raid. You're going to need to go to disks and uh, look at your hard drives and make sure there is nothing on them, there is no partitions, no nothing. If you've created a partition on it before but you've deleted it, you need to highlight the disk and click wipe exactly like this, click the quick button and it will delete the partition table and everything. If you have a file system, you need to go into this UI over here and delete it. Once everything looks good, you can go to the raid management over here, click the create button, and we can get started. So I'm gonna do a raid five because that's the default, but uh, you also have choices of linear, mirror, stripe, raid 10, and raid six. So what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm going to select my three hard drives, then I'm going to name the raid, and we're gonna call it data. And I'll click the create button click yes. It's going to go through and uh, the raid will be initialized and it will sync. And uh, we'll click OK. Click the apply button once the percentage over here says 100%. Alright, so our raid is completely synced. Now we can click the apply button over here and click yes. So we've now combined three 8 gigabyte hard drives to get quite a lot of space. I mean, it's not a whole lot. This is just a proof of concept, but if we go over to disks, we can see they're all here and uh, under file systems, we can see there's nothing there. You know, we, we've got the raid though, and uh, that's where you start. You can't actually access anything on it until you go back to file systems and click the create button. Now, if you've created file systems before with different hard drives on Open Media Vault, you'll notice that you have to select a device. Well, in this case, we're going to select our software RAID, and we will call this once again data. We will pick our file system. I'm going to go with extended four. You can go with whatever you'd like. Click OK, and then let it format. It's going to do a bunch of stuff, uh, clean it up, you know, and then it'll be ready to use. So now we have a software RAID of three different drives right over here. We can click the mount button and uh, click the apply button, click yes. And uh, there you go, there's your your, your hard, or your software RAID, I, excuse me. And there you go, there's your software RAID. You can use it for whatever you'd like to use it for. I'm gonna say most people are gonna be using it for Samba and FTP and NFS, but that's how you set it up. I hope this was enlightening to you guys if you didn't know that you could do a quick and easy software RAID like this. Anyways, guys, uh, I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it.